Welcome to Dimitri's little garden walkthrough on uh, playing EverQuest Next Landmark. So here I am in a starting location, which I would guess to be a tier one map. Uh, the maps are organized in different tiers on uh, resources. So this game is very heavily focused on resourcing, uh, sorry, harvesting resources. So it's a building game. So basically you mine stuff and you build stuff. And there's some pretty cool stuff to do. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, I have a Founders Pack, which has this guy here. So I'm going to equip my Founders Pickaxe. But if uh, you don't have this, you need to work towards getting an Iron Pickaxe. And uh, I believe a better Stone Axe or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is just go through a couple of things. I'm still very, very new. So what I found was, you click on this guy, and if you start tracking, what happens is, is you get a little window up here which tells you how close you are to getting the stuff that you want. So copper is pretty abundant. So this is the spire. This is what you use to move around um, servers and maps, I think it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run off. And you can see in the distance already bits of orange. So generally, resources will be colored different so that they stand out a little bit so you can find them. So we're going to run up to these resources. We found some here. I'm going to select my pickaxe and I am going to dig. And... Um, Generally what you do is you'll dig down and you'll find usually at the end uh, something a little bit special, nothing real special, just um, some of the resources that you want to collect. Oh, I thought I was digging copper, elemental copper, that's what you want, so that's the stuff that's at the end of the of the vein of metal. Oh, it's still a bit more there. So usually down the bottom you get those good bits. Oh, that's about it. Right, where was it? Up here. So we're just going to go around and dig up a little bit more. Um, so it's just a matter of progression. Um, EverQuest follows uh, a tradition of leveling up, resourcing, um, harvesting resources. Or in the EverQuest game, more about getting experience points and leveling up and getting equipment. They're slowly bringing in combat and, um, and more sort of um, equipment. I, I think I read that they're dropping chests now. So chests are where you get the good stuff from. Um, and I haven't really seen what's in it, but they've just introduced caves somewhere, so I haven't found any caves yet. I'm just uh, having a little bit of a play. Okay, so, so this little gathering list is very, very handy. So it's already told me that I've got enough copper um, so now I need to make some copper ingots. So you have to go to a uh, harvesting station. So what we need is some wood. Alright, let's go chop down some trees. There's always something uh, fundamentally male about getting an axe, chopping down a tree. Yeehaw! Not that I want to kill anything living. Alright, so I've got my stone axe and I'm chopping. So with EverQuest, there's always um, ways to get stronger and uh, faster and uh, do more damage, etc. So that's that's the progression. So we're getting like uh, better picks to be able to harvest higher tier resources. 
And I believe there's one or two axes in the game, so there's not much progression in axes. Um, harvesting can be a little bit boring. I think what I'd recommend doing early on in this game is you go into control panel, into your, this is for Windows, in your mouse options. And I'm pretty sure in the mouse options, I've done it already uh, previously, that you can, um, like, mouse lock so if you hold the mouse for more than say three seconds it will continually click 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 and that way you can just hold your finger on the mouse for a few seconds and let go and it will just continue chopping down the tree so as you can see it's very very slow i've got two out of the eight resources that i need um, so I think chopping down trees is one of the things that uh, people didn't really like that much. So I'm um, guessing they've made some changes, but it's still pretty mm, boring. But you need wood to build stuff, so you got to chop them down. Hey, one tree down. To the next tree. Um, so, another part of this game is uh, the building process, which is uh, quite unique. And if you have a look at some of the things that people have built, uh, they're quite amazing. And uh, something that they've introduced into this game is uh, Player Studio, which I believe you can create things like, say, buildings, uh, furniture... Uh, artworks or you know stuff to decorate or to, to build a house very quickly and you can buy the the template and so that you can build it yourself so the way building works is you need to claim an area and uh, once you claim that area you can then build on it and so I'm guessing that the uh, templates that you can buy in player studio will allow you to erect something that you like very very quickly um, but my question would be is do you need to have the resources in your inventory to build it say like a thousand wood or a thousand stone a thousand copper or does buying the template give you everything you need just to construct it in one click uh, it's a question i haven't answered yet haven't looked into it um, something that I was a little disappointed with but I understand the difficulties involved in setting something like this up is that Player Studio is only available for uh, people living in America so for me that live in Australia I'm still a huge fan of the EverQuest uh, series is uh, I can't really get involved but I understand the difficulties in setting up a system like this so, um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they open it up. Okay, so it looks like we've got enough wood and resources to build copper, uh, copper pick. So what we're going to do is that, um, at the spires and, um, also in people's houses, you can go and, uh, use the equipment. Oh, that's a new piece of equipment. Okay, so that's used to make a claim flag. So I believe I need to make a claim flag as well. Um, as a founder, I think I had a claim flag before, but now I've got a trailblazer flag, a settler flag. I have no claim flag anymore. So in the alpha, I had a claim flag. But now in the um, in this beta, I don't have a claim flag, so I'll have to create it. So I'll have to come back to him. Um, so we need to refine some ingots. Um, my building experience is quite poor. So refining station. No. no I don't think that's what we want. What's this guy? He looks like a woodworking. Okay, 
Okay, I am confused. Uh, please forgive my unpreparedness to build something very simple. It must be over here. That's one of the, I think, the weaknesses of this game is that it's quite confusing and um, time consuming to understand and learn how to play it, which is a shame. Metal, here we go, copper ingot, craft. What do we need? Seven. So, it looks like you got to refine your metal into like a ingot ready to craft into something else. Okay, so in theory I can make a copper axe. And so we click the craft button. And there we go. We have a copper pick. So I've created a um, superior pick. So sometimes you get lucky, you can make like a, a better one or a less, uh, a less better one. Um, so that's pretty pointless for me because I have the founder's pickaxe. So you see the numbers are higher for mine. So for me, the iron one I think would be better. But I'm just going through a quick progression. So I think what we should do is we've done the gathering list for a copper pick. What we want is recipe channel. We don't want a pick. We want a... Claim flag. Alright, how do we get rid of that one? Stand forward, stop tracking so we can stop tracking. So it looks like you can have multiple stuff in here. So I guess we might as well. So we want the iron pick. Um, we want... What's the axes? I guess we should want a tin axe. Wow. Um, I guess I was incorrect with axes. There's lots of axes. So I'll uh, start tracking an axe. Um, and then... I think what we want is a grappling hook. Where was the grappling hook? I'll start tracking... Grappling hook. Alright, so that's um, a very, very handy tool that they've introduced to the game and uh, I think that's a fantastic addition to help you track uh, your harvesting so um, definitely um, this is a, an awesome little tool to have and quite necessary in this game I believe okay where to begin so we need copper Copper, copper, and we're always going to need wood, so, um, tin axe. So that's tier two stuff. Alright, the boring part of chopping down trees. So this um, is kind of like a, a very basic and quick guide, but it's uh, more of a boring walkthrough. Um, I normally create videos to help people to go to sleep. So if you've made it this far and you have no idea why I'm making this video, it's um, very much for the subscribers of my main YouTube channel and I help people to relax and go to sleep so usually I'd recommend you wearing headphones listening to me and um, I hope that I can try and teach you something um, I'm not that experienced so there's something what's that is that something I can mine um, 
click over here. Dirt. I'm digging dirt. I don't know what A gets used for. Uh, let's just chop down trees. Ooh, I have a stone axe. <laughs> and this is a problem I've had last time. I'm pretty sure I'm on a tier one map and I'm stuck trying to chop down stuff which is tier two. Ah, oh, here we go. The plain old chop, 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 chop. Yeah, this is typical EverQuest. You gotta keep chopping to get the, the semi-rare resources. Um, So unfortunately the game is uh, quite time consuming in the gathering of resources. I'm really looking forward to the release of the, um, the EverQuest next game, which I think will be next year sometime, where they'll bring in their normal combat and monsters. And uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna make it an easy game or a hard game um, but my guess is is I'll probably have to make it quite quite an easy game to play um, I, I need a lot more wood so one of the benefits of doing all of this is that you get lots of wood to build stuff so over the time of um, gathering uh, resources to build equipment you'll, you'll gather heaps of materials to build but it's just a shame that they have so many items that you can uh, harvest and make so I guess they've made the game for what you might refer to as um, like a hardcore player that plays it quite a lot and um, and uh, so they have to cater for these type of people and also uh, me that doesn't have that much time available to play the game so I'm more of a uh, casual player um, but I guess in the old request two days I was uh, considered a little bit a little bit hardcore um, used to look forward to the releases of the um, expansions and I think I think there was a period where I might even take uh, like a holiday off work and um, so when the expansion comes out you can go explore and find all the new things um, so one of the things that I enjoy very much uh, in these type of games is the guilds and grouping and the social aspect of just playing with other people and the um, you know hack and slash and blow things up and and uh, get more experience points, get better equipment. So I um, had a lot of um, enjoyment playing EverQuest 2. I never really got into WoW. I was a little bit uh, scared to play too many MMOs because they uh, can take up so much time. So this is me playing in real time just to give an indication of what it takes to sort of progress at the very beginning of the game. So this is me, day dot, new character. I have nothing in my inventory. So I'm just starting out. All right, so it looks like I got enough wood for the tin axe and the claim flag. So that looks like that's a tier two wood. 
So let's go find some copper. So we'll change to the founder's pickaxe or whichever pickaxe you've got. And let's look for the orange. Copper's pretty easy to find. Um, it's definitely one of the easiest resources to dig up and find. So just remember that you want to go into your control panel and turn the um, continuous mouse clicking so you don't have to hold your finger on the mouse all the time. I wonder how far you could dig down. I want to find some of these caves. So if you still see a bit of orange, it pays just to keep digging around the place. You never know what you might find. Oh look, there's something down there. So there's a bit of copper ore, elemental copper, a bit more up here. So you just got to sort of just dig around the place. Normally the good stuff is down the bottom, there's still a little bit over here, there you go, alright, no, there's still more, okay, I think that's it now, yeah, you just got to be careful, not to dig yourself into a pit like I've just done now, hmm, There you go. Sometimes you can get a little bit stuck. Okay, so we've got we've got enough copper for the grappling hook. We've got enough copper for the claim flag. And we're not anywhere close to a tin axe. Or an iron pick, so that's all tier two stuff. So what we'll do is we'll go back. To where are we? Over there somewhere. That should be over here. Um, numlock. Numlock is automatic run. So if you just press the numlock on your keyboard once, you'll automatically run. So that's a couple of quick little tips as well. And don't forget, you can use some of the harvesting, uh, sorry, crafting stations at other people's homes as well, just the basic ones. Okay, let's build. Um, no, that builds... No, it's making potions. Um, no, hang on. Claim flag and grappling hook over here. Over here. Claim flag. Let's craft a claim flag. Okay, so now we have a claim flag. So a claim flag is used to claim an area of the game to allow you to build something onto it. So that's uh, one of the big parts of the game. And we want a grappling hook. I need to make some copper ingots. So that will be at the forge. So we scroll down to metal, we want to make some, I can't make enough copper ingots, I don't have enough copper, oh, I made a mistake, I thought I had enough. Mm, I'm too close, got to move further away. Come to me, Kappa.
So I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that each 300 copper equals one ingot. Okay, so we can remove the claim flag from our recipe journal. Claim flag. Stop tracking. So that removes it from there. So we just want to get this grappling hook sorted. So we need to make some copper ingots. Metal, copper, so that's copper, so every hundred copper. Right, so it looks like I need a hundred more copper. Yeah, so I just gotta go find a little bit more copper. Okay, run over here. Numlock to auto run. Auto run is one of the best things that you can have in this game. There's my hole I just dug. And now I'm stuck. I swear I saw some copper around here. There's heaps of it over there. And we'll do a somersault. I think one of the other things with this game is you can't change the keys. There's no way to change the options of key buttons yet. Alright, come to me, copper. Copper is something that you'll need, and I think you need in lots of stuff, so it can never. You can never have too much copper in this game, I think. Okay, so a problem with this gathering list is I'm gathering copper to make an ingot. Yet, I can't see how much copper I've got to check if I have enough. Come on, give me the good stuff. I'm digging myself in now. Okay, no, I'll dig up a bit more copper since it's right here. I actually quite like the mining actions and digging it up. It's a little bit more fun than, if you could call this fun, um, than chopping down trees. But in real life, I think I'd rather chop trees. But if I was digging the ground and I was getting things like gold, then I'll dig the ground. <laughs> Looks like I'm, um, I've hit this little vein of copper from below. Come here, copper. Bit more over here. Okay, let us go back to the spire. And we'll see if we can build ourselves a grappling hook. Yeehaw! So the next problem is, is we've got to start moving up in tiers, and I've had problems in the alpha. Trying to move up in tiers on difficulties and 
having the right tools to um, mine the things that you need to build the next thing. So the progression for me in the alpha was quite difficult. Okay, so now we should be able to build a grappling station over here maybe. Grappling hook. Let's craft ourselves a grappling hook. Okay, so we will recipe journal, grappling hook, stop tracking. So we've done that. So now we need to work on this stuff, which is all tier two. So let's move to a tier two map. And this thing's a bit strange. You gotta click on this thing up here. And let's go to the beach. Yeah, so this game, um, they just released some um, minimum specs and recommended specs. And you need a pretty hefty computer system, so minimum specs is i5 or a AMD Phenom processor with a GTX 275 video card, which was quite a high-end video card in its day. Okay, so we're at the beach. Oh boy, look at this guy's place. This is what I was talking about. Um, that's unique. It feels like the, the type of place that that... Um, uh, the guy from the Hobbit movie, not Gandalf, but his um, mate that has the squirrel living in his head would live in. And there's something in the middle of the air. All right, let's pull up this grappling hook. Chuck it here. And we will highlight it. Alright, so I'm not sure exactly how to use the grappling hook. I thought you would equip it. Hmm. As you can see, I'm not that good. Why can't I use it? Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, so what we want, we want to get the iron pick. So the picks are the, your priority. Um, I think it's a priority anyway. Um, so we need some iron, iron, aquamarine. I'm pretty sure that's not hard to find. And we need to find some wood. Let's go have a look for some wood. All right, number lock to run. There's a few trees down there. Someone's house in the distance. Um, and while we're doing that, we'll look for stuff to mine. Generally, it'll be like bright colors. It looks pretty, there it is. That might be the aquamarine. Let's go have a look. Iron, so that's iron. So we're going to need a bit of that. And you're going to need plenty of stone for building stuff. Just remember at the bottom of the vein usually you get some of the good stuff, which is what you want. Oh, there you go. Elemental iron. I'm sure that'll be useful for something. I just got a money bag. Essence of Earth. Oh boy, I'm digging myself deep here. Tin. 
that's something I'm going to need. So that's where there's something usually important down the bottom. Um, okay. Let's dig ourselves another hole. It'd be good if you could uh, group up in this game and get some bonuses for harvesting or, or some something to give you an incentive to group. A bit more down there. There we go. You just got to sort of follow the the vein of minerals down, and you'll hopefully, if we're lucky. See if we can zoom down in there. It'd be nice in like this gathering list. I had a little thing up the top, and like as you're gathering stuff, they could like show you so if I'm gathering tin they could say you've got 500 tin or if you're gathering iron you could say oops all right so there's a quick way to get rid of stuff elemental tin all right so we got a lot of stuff to get yet and here we go Where are we going to? Trees. Alright, let's see if we can chop these trees down, or I'm going to struck down by the bug of not having the right equipment. No, nope, can't chop down these trees. What about these ones? These ones I can. Okay, I can chop it down, at least that's a bonus. Now all I need is the uh, rares to build up some of the first items, so... I'm sure if you're more experienced at the game, you could be able to do it a bit quicker, but... To be honest, this is the first time I've played this game um, since the alpha. And uh, I never really made it that far in the alpha. Go back to my recipe journal. And I want the iron pick. So it says here I need some wild hardwood. So am I harvesting the right stuff? It says T2. And I'm in a T2 map. So the question is, is will I get some of this infused hardwood? No, my luck, it'll be rare. Really rare. Like really 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 rare hmm I wonder if it's something I have to make Oh, there you go. I didn't know you could see other people on the map. There they are. And more people. 
so I guess they're like a group with like a line following them. All right, so normally the resources might be up in the mountains, so we're gonna go dig. Could that be some acromarine? Maybe some iron ore over there? Let's go check it out. Numlock to run. That's a funny looking tree. Let's try chopping this one down. And we come to the boring part of chopping down trees. Chop, 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 chop. No, nothing here. Um, so there is a web page. I think it's a wiki landmark. That will probably help you find information, uh, probably better information than I'm giving you uh, right now. So I'd recommend checking them out. Okay, so that looks like that might be more iron. So we're going to need a fair bit of this, I think. So let's dig it up and. I think at the end of like an iron vein you might get some tin and then you need to get the, the rare tin, the elemental tin. So I just got some elemental iron. So what we need is some tin to make the tin axe. So a lot of this is basically, you know, it's all harvesting resources but you got to find them and that's a bit of a trick. So we're down into the tin. There we go, we just got some elemental tin. That's like the rare part of it. Um, come on, what are we going to find down here? We just got to look for the colour. Iron, iron. Keep digging away. When you see that different colour, dig into it. So we've got some tin, tin, quite hard to see. All right, so we'll zoom in the camera into first person view. And I'm not seeing any more color, but I just got something. No, let's back out. Zoom back out. Wow, you can zoom out a mile. Wow, didn't know you could zoom out that far. Let's zoom in while we're digging. So we're going for the elemental tin. I'm pretty sure that's a tough one to get. Let's clear the area so I don't get stuck. There's something... Why is there people underneath me? There must be a cave under there. I wonder if I keep digging down whether I'll get to them. There could be miles down there. Here we go, the tin. So you got to follow the tin to try and get the elemental tin. Come on, give me some elemental tin. Ah, oh, they're cheating me. Come on, give me some elemental tin. Yeah, they're cheating me. Alright, let's get out of here. guy's bloody claim. Alright, let's head back up to the mountain. We're going up to that point up there. That might be the um, aquamarine. Alright, what 
is this? That would be Aquamarine. Okay, so we need some Aquamarine here. Elemental Iron we've been getting. We should have enough iron to make that. But where do we get that from? So now we've gone down to iron. I'm not sure there's something better down here. What's this? So yeah, the aquamarine was generally not hard to to find from memory. So I think we've dug this one out. Okay, let's have a bit of a look around. Let's zoom back out. No idea how to use that grappling hook. There's something that's purple. What's that? <laughs> Raw aqua, whatever that is. So I need the iron pick to resource this. So, so that's why you gotta work towards upgrading your stuff as sort of quickly as possible. So that's iron. We um we sort of pretty desperately need some elemental tin, which from memory will be under the iron. Alright, let's jump on down and dig dig dig. Come on, give me something good. I'd rather be hacking and slashing monsters, to be honest. I think they're going to bring PvP into this game soon, so that'll be interesting. I was never very good at PvP. Uh, so there's some tin. Give me some elemental tin. Come on. You can do it. That tin. You can do it. Come on. Oh, how disappointing. Suck, just dig your way out. Oh, finding something there. What's stopping me from getting out? Alright, there we go. So I just need a bit more aquamarine, which won't be hard to get. So we've got the aquamarine. We've got the iron. We'll have enough iron. We need to find this though. Wild heartwood. And we still haven't got real far. I think I'll have enough tin to make that. Need that. I need 50 of those. Q. 
kidding me? Right. Um, also, some maps will have more types of resources than others. Like there's something in the distance over there. A couple of bits of resources over here. I think I'm going to have to uh, research where to find this wood or we might head back to the crafting stations quickly and see if it's something that we can make. So I just, um, I'm guessing you're probably uh, asleep by now if you're listening to this, but thank you anyway for watching. And um, I hope to, to make some more videos similar to this in the near future. And uh, my dream is actually to, to build a uh, location where crafters can get together. And um, I can have some like uh, relaxation rooms. Because this game can, um, you can play it for quite a while. And uh, after you've been playing it for a while, you sort of get pretty amped up. And sometimes you just need to kick back, relax, and uh, that's probably my specialty. What's that? And there's some pretty different buildings people like to make. Alright, so there should be a Actually, there may not be a woodworking station at the at the spire. I might go to someone's house and use it. Oh, let's go have a look at this guy's house. Oh, it's big. It's a shame that there's no one really talking in the game. It'd be nice if, you know, you could ask questions. Oh, I hate jumping. Okay, this guy has everything. So we want a woodworking station. This one, maybe. No, can't use any of this guy's stuff. Okay, so there's a Tinker's workshop. Yeah, so I need like a saw table. Alright, so there's the tier 3 version. So I need a saw table. Uh, from memory, they don't have it at the spires. No, surely this is it. Uh, this must be a special one. Can't use it. Disappointing. So 
So this is where the game gets a little bit sort of difficult and confusing. Confusing, it's sort of hard. Um, so, you know, they don't want to make the game too easy. But when you're doing kind of frustrating stuff, it'd be nice to get a little bit of help, um, you know, when the game comes out. I think they should have like some areas which are a little bit more tough. Mm, no. Mm, no. 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 Let's go check this guy's house out. Hopefully he's been kind enough to build a saw table for us to use. Interesting stairs. Very interesting. And where's this stuff? There's his stuff. All right, so we need a saw table. This one looks too high end. That's not a saw table. Yeah, I'm clicking on stuff, but I'm not getting any message on if I can use it or not. So that's just a normal one. We need a saw table. I must be missing something in the game. From memory, you had to go to a, you had to make a saw table to use it. But you could use other people's. All right, I'm gonna leave it here, and uh, I think I need more experience at what I need to do to play this game. So hopefully, next time I'll have more information. Thank you very much for watching, and. Um, yeah, get into playing EverQuest next.